Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. The Belmont Journal today continues its series on Belmont's small businesses. Vicki Lees is a well-known bakery and catering business in Cushion Square. As with other food businesses, Vicki Lees has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Cherise Zarunian meets with the owner of Vicki Lees, who explains how she's adapting so as to continue her business. Hi, my name is Vicki Lee Boyajan. I'm here at my bakery cafe catering business, Vicki Lees. We are in Cushing Square in Belmont on Trapella Road. And we are basically a everything store, bakery, cafe, catering once upon a time. Since COVID, we haven't been doing any catering. We're doing a lot of drop-off catering, small platters and prepared foods for people that are having small events, especially during the holidays. <clears throat> we do, uh, a lot of people don't seem to know that we're more than a bakery. We're not just a bakery. We do a lot of food and we do, um, everyday cookies and pastries and sweet sweet goods and then we also do quite an array of uh, foods which we change up every week we have a different menu every week so we do lunch all day breakfast all day and then we do our dinner entrees which are our soul to go for people um, once upon a time before covid we were extremely busy in the shop while we only sat about 20 people this place was always packed and always turning around so since COVID, things are a little bit different, uh, but we're still here. We're here Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5.30. So when that all hit in March, it was really quite a shock because we had at that point over $100,000 in booked catering events. We, When I say catering, we do full service off-premise catering here. So we do quite a few of weddings, showers, um, business affairs, things like that. Once March hit, slowly they started coming in. Cancel, 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 till finally every single thing was canceled. And then we of course had to shut down. So not only were all of our catering events canceled and the loss of a, a great revenue stream for us, we shut down for almost two months and didn't reopen again <clears throat> until Mother's Day. Mother's Day was our first chance since March when we closed to reopen and we reopened just for Mother's Day and then the following week we started in business again. And, um, we have uh, an hourly sanitation sheet so every hour on the hour one of our staff members is going around and sanitizing doors, handles, cash register, charge machine, all that, as well as in the kitchen, all of our refrigerator doors, as well as the railings, the phones, all of that. I'm being really careful because I don't want to risk ever that one of my staff gets it because then that affects us more as a team and then we'd have to shut down and, and clean. If you'd like to find out more information, you can go to our website, VickiLees.com, and that will give you our current hours since COVID, as well as our menus that are available. We also have online ordering available now, so everything can be ordered online, but still cakes and more custom orders have to be ordered through a phone call. And of course, on the day of the holiday, like Thanksgiving, we have lines down the block because we only allowed four people into our store at a time. And we did a lot of curbside that day too, where people called us and they asked us to come out and bring their foods outside. So um, we're doing a lot to stay safe in here. We're doing much more with packaged goods versus when you used to come in, you can see anything and say, oh, I'll take a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now it's all packaged and ready for you. So nothing has to be handled out front in the store. So knock on wood, we've gone since Mother's Day till now and we've been safe and we will continue to do so. But we're gonna to continue to not offer inside dining.